Grand Rising. Peace family, grand rising, grand arrival. Can y'all hear me okay? I don't know if the audio is on. Dealing with technology and everything, sometimes you have to confirm. So I just want to make sure y'all can hear me, I can hear you. Okay, you hear the jazz, so I'm assuming you can hear me. Today's going to be a really interesting topic. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited you're here with me. <clears throat> Friday, I dropped a 10-part uh, series titled Satanic Forces in Hollywood. Now, this series is very important to me because I'm trying to explain a concept in a visual way. And in order for you to truly understand this concept, I want you to truly understand my basis <clears throat> when it comes to Satan, Lucifer, and the devil. Now, interesting enough, you have a lot of different people who say various things about these titles. You have various gurus, various religious institutions, various extraterrestrial uh, believers, flat earthers. Um, no worries. I'm not here to dispute, to argue, to contest any of their theories or ideologies. That's not what this is about. It's about trying to expand on what I have discovered and regressive therapy and i want to make sure it's as clear as possible in these videos moving forward give me a little give me a little give me a little tent yeah i want to uh try to make that as clear as possible in these videos moving forward this is not necessarily my opinion this is more of observation this is investive journalism <laughs> into the art of regression therapy, mind therapy. And going through these different mind therapy sessions, I have discovered very interesting associ associations or connections to things that are in the life. So when I speak on things, I try to speak on things that connect, associate, represent things that you experience, touch in the life. All right, so... I've spoken on Satanism <clears throat> having to do with the planetary system of Saturn. And I have spoke on Luciferianism, the honor and worship of Lucifer, is associated to Venus, the honor and worship of Satan. One is a religious institution that places judgment upon themselves. Saturn is a area or a, a planetary body that's highly associated with judgment. So these entities put judgment upon themselves. It's not no one else's responsibility to judge me. So if I want to uh, uh, do things that society considers taboo, who is society to judge me? If I have a fixation with, um, this is not me personally, these are the way that these people think if these pedophiles if these people have a fixation with children they believe they should be able to have the right to have the fixation with children who are you to judge me this is what this is associated to sat satanists satanists 
are individuals that do not allow others to tell them what to do. That do not allow others to judge them, to put them in a box, a cube. Now I can expand on this, but that's not what this video is about. It's even deeper than that. <laughs> it's even deeper than that. This is just uh, just to touch the bases. Satanism, a mind state of individuals that say, hey, don't tell me what to do. Don't judge me. I'll judge you. Therefore, I'll control your fate. Therefore, if I have a gun and I want to be on top of a root and I can do that, I'm a Satanist. <laughs> okay. Then you have Luciferianism. Now, this has to do with elevation. You got to remember, they're talking about an angel known as Lucifer. But this is deeper than just heaven. So, as a Luciferianism associated to Venus, I've often explained that this has a, <laughs> this has a lot to do with sexual energy <clears throat> and the controlling and channeling of one's chi. And those that are proclaimed Luciferianists are are adept in sound and i'll just say that but yeah lucifer is not the demon first lucifer ain't even a demon daughter it's chill you writing a lot of stuff just just relax just 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 vibe out <laughs> just vibe out <clears throat> So, Satan, Satan, Lucifer, Lu, C, Fur, Devil, D, Val, or Veil. Now, this is about positions. This is about positions. Past, present, future, mother, father, child, above, below, in between. This has to do with masculine, feminine, child. This has to do with positions. Please do not get confused with things they talk about in the life that has nothing to do with you. This has everything to do with you. Satan, Lucifer, and the devil has everything to do with you because this has everything to do with your positions. From a God to a devil to a devil to a God. But just understand the concept. Satan is often depicted as an entity that dwells below us. Satan is an entity or a construct that represents the underground. The underground. Things that you bury. The underground. Things that you plant. The underground. When I say Satanism in Hollywood, I'm talking about the underground. So you could also call that the subconscious. We're talking positions. They're getting to the underground of you, your subconscious, dropping seeds, hoping they grow into devils. We'll get there. We're talking about positions. Satanists. Satanism in Hollywood has everything to do with planting your seeds, controlling your holy tree. Position, subconscious, conscious, all conscious. I want you to listen to what I'm saying. This is positions. So a Satanist, Satanism has to do with the underground. <clears throat> Things that you don't see. Because you're too busy trying to see in two directions. Sometimes you have to make one's eye, thigh, one. You should hear some of these oaths and some of these lodges and stuff. I'll be cracking up. Okay, pirates, this is how you could beat Peter Pan. See, I don't. All right, matey. Anyway, don't lose them. Don't lose them, Q. Stay with them. 
Satanism has everything to do with the underground. Satanism. Subconscious. Peace, Tony. <clears throat> you then have the next state. Thank you so much, Tony, for your super chat. Oh, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Greatly, 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 greatly appreciate it. Now, Satanism has to do with what some would say the father or masculine energy. This is why they say this world is ruled by men. Because no world is ruled from a conscious state. If any of you had the opportunity to watch the Netflix series Sandman, this explains a lot about what I'm kind of insinuating. But I was talking about the stuff that's on Sandman three years ago. But the concept that there is, our, that there is a male entity responsible for controlling the dream state. And if you control the dream state, you control the awoken state. So the dream state is associated to the subconscious state. It's to get a person not aware in a sub subtraction. Take away sub go below. If you are on your surface. If you're standing your square, brothers, if you are standing your square and something brings you below your square, you are sub. They're taking you below. You are going into the abyss. God does not dwell in the abyss. The Bible don't talk about that. He hovered across the waters. Jehovah. Yahuwah. You hovered over the waters and something like an octopus. Something like a dragon. Something many refer to as Tiamat grabbed you and pulled you under. Let's not get into all that. Everyone wasn't pulled down. Some gods just hovered and, and hovered. <laughs> and hovered. And hovered and hovered and hovered. And then. And laid it on a white napkin. <laughs> certain certain gods just hovered and hovered and hovered, and then the cloth shortly met the end. <laughs> but that new abyss grabbed your ass. Woo! That womb grabbed you. All bodies are female. See, this is then when you don't understand. Q, you just said that's male. You just said that's male. If Lucifer, which is the position I'm going to, is female, and the saying is as above, so below, then the female that's above really just got to be a female that's below. You can argue it. You can't say that. There's a male. You said there's a male. As above, so below, though, right? If we're talking about positions of planets, isn't Venus first? Wouldn't Venus be above Saturn? Maybe I'm bugging. Maybe I'm missing something. But just, just. Just, 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 so, so, Satanism has everything to do with subconscious communication, symbology. It's not necessarily to do with the sound. That's Luciferianism. We'll get there because sound has to do with the atomic table, with the elements, with the periodic table. So, you know, where, where I'm going with this. Sound has everything to do with the periodic table. And you're like, Q, what are you talking about? Well, how the hell do you get to hear a little ting-a-ting-ting-ting-ting-ting-ting? Get to hear a little ting-a-ting-ting-ting-ting on a drum 
without the element, <laughs> without without the periodic tables element creating this little tingy ting 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 ting. So anyway, we'll get there. Satanism. It's everything to do with subconscious. They use symbology to captivate you. Now, I want you to also understand that Luciferianism and Satanism are often at works at the same time. They're not like they're separate. It's not like Satanism and Luciferianism and we're going to clash. We're battling. No, no, no. This is this is this is this is higher dimensional technology. This has nothing to do with some of the immaturity we still display here on Earth. This has to do with you and the evolution of you and realizing that your past and your future is the same thing. So, Satanism has to do with the past, the below, the things buried, the things hidden, the things not seen. Satanism. It's a mind state. If you're curious, just find it up here for you. So the word Sa is used in several different cultures. One uh, Chinese translation of the word Sa means in. Like in. But this is why it's called Sa Tin. In. Satan. In. It's letting you know what polarity or position it represents. Satan. Now, I believe sa means expressed sound. So you have different. A symbol just stays there. But then a user comes and starts to play on it. Now, I can play on this symbol subtle. That is my sa. That is my expression of sound. But I can also come. That's also an expression of sound. And then you would add something else to Sa to explain what that expression is. But that may be confusing. But this is how we used to communicate. We, we would. We would have a commonality on things and then add the next vibration or frequency to it so da veil or veal or veil <laughs> like the veal <laughs> so da or d means to go below as well so it's showing you which position the devil is associated to you often can say the devil is associated to Lucifer. How? I mean, they're all separate entities. They're all separate versions of yourself. So you have your Satan feels so good. That is the thing that's inside of you. So. This is then when I start realizing this is kind of interesting. This is when I started to believe that the whole concept of our subconscious is associated to our chakras. And that if our subconscious is associated to Saturn, how? Well, Saturn projects a certain frequency harnessed by the moon. And then the moon uses its like technology to reflect. 
reflected or projected on us on this planet. So, of course, Saturn is highly associated with our dream state. Control the dream state. The body cannot decipher the difference between a dream or reality. If the, bi the body is experiencing some of these things in your dream state, means your organs are experiencing some of these things in your dream state. Now your organs are secreting. Any of you ever had a wet dream? Some of your organs are out here secreting all over the place while you're fuck freaking sleeping. And now in this secretion, they're doing something with it. And in, and in them doing something with it, it is them being able to control your waking state. Shit is crazy. Why are you, why are you hungry? Or why are you craving what you're craving when you wake up? Why is your dick hard? I mean, I could give you a whole bunch of... Why, why do you have to pee so bad? I mean, I could give you all kind of associations. The liquid got to go somewhere. I could give you all kind of associations to these things. But nevertheless, you realize that Satanism, Saturn, this iced out, just look at my chain. I have no chain on. <laughs> look at my neck. <laughs> look, bling. <laughs> this, this iced out planet is sitting here trying to project its reality onto us <clears throat> oh you don't got no ice i judge you oh you don't have a bentley i judge you <laughs> oh, you fuckers so so your chakras is kind of like a tool for satanism you're like what the fuck i hey it's also a tool for lucifer it's also a tool for god it's 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 multifaceted. <laughs> it's multifaceted. Just know that. It's multifaceted. But it is a tool for Satanism. You are Satan. It's, it's a tool for the inner world. It's trying to control you. So imagine it like this. Satanism is its own reality of you. And that it is trying to do whatever it can to dictate and, and, and dominate your inner world. That's Satanism. That there are states of consciousness that are inside your body right now, in your organs, flowing through your blood and your mind. That you have entities flowing through your body right now, like waves, like wave particles. Energy, neither created nor destroyed, transformed or transferred. So you are transforming some of these entities. You are transferring some of these entities. And they are dwelling within your house of God. In your menta, in your temples, okay, inside of your body, and that they are using what you believe to be Satanism, this invisible occult of religion and things like that. It's invisible, it's because it starts inside of you and you can't see inside of you, so it's invisible. So, this invisible state of you, because what do you go to pull out your demon, pull out, pull out your ancestor. But show me them. It's invisible. So this invisible world, this is why it said in the Bob Dylan interview, invisible. Principal in an invisible world. <laughs> this is why he said that. Y'all can watch it over and over again, but do you get the code of what he's saying? Invisible world? He's talking about the inside of your body. And the inside of your body has entities inside of it that are controlling you as best they can. And they are then influencing people outside of you through waves, through frequencies, through the air, <laughs> through, through the bowels or bells or balls in the air. Remember, our balls be swinging through the air every day, men. You talk about some ball airs, you talk about our balls swinging in the wind. Unless you're sitting down. But this is the, the men who run in this world, they balls swinging in the air because they in motion. They dominating. They're controlling. This is cold. You thinking, oh, <laughs> they're talking about some demon in the sky. Yeah, they've manifested a demon, uh, an entity known as Baal. Your, your mind is powerful as fuck inside this invisible place. <laughs> it's, it's invisible because... <laughs> Because it's inside something too. <laughs> but anyway, I might I might be losing y'all. Uh. <laughs> I might be losing y'all. Uh. Oh god. Just
take a sip of my 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 strawberry banana. Mm. <clears throat> okay, this last code I'm gonna give you is say it. All right. Sat in Sat in. I have like a little I ain't I ain't doing a little serpent shit. I have a piece of hair in my mouth. You know? Yeah, he doing that damn serpent shit, the serpent dance. Ain't like, nobody do no serpent dance. I'm just, Piece of hair in my mouth. So listen. Sat in. The two words is sat and in. Now anyone who has gone into a meditative state, any gurus, any any lamas, or Dalai Lamas, any of these people of importance, um, um, Albert Einstein, uh, they these thought experiments. These people have sat and went in. They fool you thinking this is some pitchfork motherfucker. Yes, you have manifested entities from a, a from a, a place known as Aldebaran, which dwells within the Taurus constellation, and it's also known as the Bullseye. I get that. You, I, you would not come and argue with me about goddamn devil people, horned people. That's not the point. The point is you still don't understand what Satan or Satan or sat in means to you. To sit in to oneself and to, do, to, to discover the demons you was born with. The demons that rode the same goddamn sperm cell as you. The demons that was dwelling within the darkness of your mama. The demons that was dwelling within the, the light of your father. What you think there's there's demons? Uh, what do you call a jinn? A jinn is a is is an entity of fire. I mean that there's so technically, if you really want to know the technical term, you have jinn that travel on sperm, and you have demons that dwell within the egg, and that you are inside of uh, uh, the frequency of jinn and demons. Now, you then get a book called the Bible that helps you remember there's angels and that there's a God. So then you end up manifesting angels and gods inside of you as well. Luckily, thank you for basic instructions before leaving Earth. Thank you for the Bible. But at the end of the day, you've done manifested all of this stuff inside of you. And now there's like wars. The demons don't like the gen. Did you see American gods? You got new gods. You got old gods. You have angels. You have angels that are portraying God. If you watch Constantine, you see that Gabriel had a huge influence in a lot of weird things. So my point is, if you don't start understanding what these things mean to yourself first, you're going to get lost in the sauce. Oh, boy. You're going to get lost in the hype. You're going to get lost in the illusion. You need to know what these things mean to you, on you, for you, first. On you, for 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 you. Four, four, four. For you, for you, for you. Thank you so much for your super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Miss C. I see. So, it's cold. To sat in. But once you sit in, what are you sitting in? Well, the greatest thing that's bothering you is what what the Hindus refer to as karma. And it's what the Christians refer to as judgment. And the biggest thing that is bothering you is judgment. Judgment of oneself and judgment of others. You're judging your desires, you're judging your passions, you're judging your life choices, you're judging your kids, you're judging your job, you're judging your parents. 
You go through your day judging oneself more than anything else. More than anything else. I just had a nose strip on my nose. You still see it? Look. See the red? Look. Look. Puffy eyes. I literally just woke up. I ain't even really washed my face. I threw a jacket on. I got a run to the post office. Judge me if you want. Pac said it best. Only God can judge me. And God to me is my creation. And that which I come from. Judgment to me or creation to me is a dual thing. Just like your creation was a dual thing. It came from a mother and a father. But the hardest thing most of you are dealing with is the fact that you judge yourselves. And judge others. If you were to replace the judge with another J justice, pull on Jupiter. Pull on Jupiter. But this is this is this is this has okay. One, one. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get it all adjusted. Driving, losing signal. All right, here we go. In ancient texts, it explains that. Ooh, okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay, all right. So, 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 if you really get into the text, you will understand that Adam was not of our standard size. That Adam, Adam of biblical texts, would have been. A larger individual some would say a giant and some of the characteristics of these giants besides their great intelligence shit. <laughs> fingers and as you start to go through different documentations Google six finger individuals oh their brain is wired for the appendage <laughs> meaning it's supposed to be there meaning it's supposed to be there when they actually started after you know we got modern day technology what they discovered is that it's not like it's not like something that attaches itself to the body because it's various things that do this that do this but it's not like something that attaches itself to the body and it pulls away or drains. These six-fingered individuals actually have a separate part in your brain. You have it too. That is wired for this finger. Meaning it was supposed to be there. Or it was there at a time. And you just no longer need it. Alright, so. This appendage, this extra six toes, six fingers of giant-like entities that are written about in the Bible and other texts. These are beings that are associated to Saturn. And these are beings that are associated with doing exactly what I'm talking about. Projecting and dominating a rule of judgment. This is exactly where we're at now. We're in a society based on that. That you have a judge who gets to dict dictate your fate if you break the laws. I mean, <laughs> we're we're in a a set. Uh, uh, we are in a society that is more in than it is out. Just so you know. Just so you know, they, they do a fine balance of what you would project pro project as an in and out, but. They are more focused on the in than they are the out. So, just kind of realized that there was a intervention. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, so kind of think of it as I'll give you this connection first. Think of it as there was a planet that was full of like villains. Now, I'm only using the word villain just because they were judgmental. I mean, <laughs> the judge that put your daddy in jail or da 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 da, you know, they a villain. So, like, imagine a world of villains. People who, who are in the eye evil. And then there's another world of people that are superheroes. Now, these evil men got six fingers. These superheroes got five fingers. And they go to war. And in their war, they end up exchanging um, females. Well, to settle our differences, you take our five-finger princess. We'll take your six-finger princess. Okay? And then there was interbreeding. Now, I'm going to give you another example of this in a second. But there was interbreeding. And then something happened. Where one of these species had to go underground. And another one of these species got to stay on the surface. So the five finger beings actually won the war and got to stay on the surface. While the six finger beings dwell below the five finger beings. And these six finger beings are just kind of waiting to emerge. Or to, uh, to, to, to take back their position of power. That they once had on this planet. This is the story of the five finger, six finger people. Did you catch that? I don't know if the service is messing up. If y'all caught the story or not. That's the story of the five finger, six finger people. Where you're going to kind of have a few people on the surface with six fingers. But they're going to predominantly be below us. Now... Here's another correlation. <coughs> Some would say we have <clears throat> like Neanderthals and Homo sapiens. Science just discovered that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens interbreeded with each other. <clears throat> so we now can have the same concept. You have a six-finger Neanderthal and a five-finger Homo sapien. And this five-finger Homo sapien did sleep with this six-finger Neanderthal. And of course, in the genetic pool, you're going to have remnants of these six fingers. So this is just another correlation to these things. Uh, yes, some would say that these Yetis, Bigfoots, Neanderthal entities had six fingers, six toes. Um, the reason why is because we're supposed to have our stuff spaced out. Shoes messed our feet up. Where we're supposed to, and because we don't grab anything, our hands are tight as well. But they're supposed to be spread out. Our hands supposed to be spread out. Our feet supposed to be spread out. It's easier to grab things. And that extra appendage, which was something I was able to grab along this area. Down here. Just a, a tighter grab. Um... You know, so, so something had to devil us, de-evolve us, de-evolve, devil us, which is the next state I'm about to get into. So then you have Middle Earth or the Middle Ground, the realm of the devil, all right? And this is why some would say, we got to be on hell. <laughs> this place is hell. We got to be in hell. We are in the realm of the devil. What is this? All right, so you already had a war of judgment and justice, and everything was destroyed. Everything inside you was destroyed. It's to call your memories. So you had a war of judgment and justice. You was riding the sperm of judgment until you hit the womb of justice. And they collided and battled. And something came out. A devil. 
a de-evolution because it's a de-evolution of it of the two you're no longer pure judgment and you're no longer pure justice you're no longer pure sperm and you're no longer pure pure egg this is in some people's view a de-evolution you would consider this life worse than your previous life you could argue with me or not but you were comfortable inside your mother's body you was comfortable inside your dad's body you were you were in more control and that's why I say you're comfortable because of the matter of influence or control you had over oneself. That's how you got here. That's how much power you have. You were able to get yourself here. So imagine how much power you had inside a body. So you would consider this a de-evolution because you don't have as much power here. You don't get to do the same shit you did inside the body. This is a devil. I'm in the fucking body of a devil. I'm a devil. But a devil just called for a developer. So, there was a war. A war of justice. A war of judgment. It destroyed everything. So, in this destruction, it destroyed your memories. So, now you're going to have to develop new ones. Now, you're going to have to develop a new house. Your, uh, uh, uh house made of um leaves blew over your house made of sticks blew over so you have to develop yourself until you develop yourself strong enough to withstand the l cements <laughs> until you can handle the elements you 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 stone yourself, you fossilize yourself, you immortalize yourself. Mortar, you immortalize yourself. <laughs> so, the word develop and devil go hand in hand. The problem is when you start to develop Satan, that is then when you're fucked. Because you're not developing what you see. You're developing what you don't see. And what kind of blueprint are you doing looking at a blank page? Talk about we about to build something. No. No. That is not how you do it. You need to develop what you see. And what you see is what you can feel. What you experience. What you engage with. That should be a part of your development. So when you start developing an institution or system for something that you can't see, you start to develop a world for somebody else. Look at celebrities. Look at pastors. Look at all these high-profile individuals. You are developing a world for them because you don't even see into you don't see anything that they're doing. You're developing their end. You're developing their end. You're developing their Satan. Like that's what you're doing. Like, that is what you're doing. You are essentially developing an inner world, and it's not even your own inner world, because you don't understand your own inner world. And if you understood your own inner world, you would understand that your inner world is already developed. That is already developed. That's how you're in it right now. You're in your inner world right now. Walmart is a representation of you. This car is a representation of you. You're already in your world right now. So then take it. So do what thy will. That was actually a rule of, of, of the most evil individual in the world. This is your world. Develop it. This is your place. Develop it. It's your world. This is your world. Allah told you through Aladdin, it's a whole new world. But that's what they're saying, this new world. What is this new world order? Hopefully, it's your world getting put in order. Hopefully. That should be what this whole new world is. Because they're showing you, and don't act like you can. They're showing you via social media that they're about to be mad worlds. That there's about to be mad worlds. 
Would you? You're in my world right now. You're in the world of Q right now. You're in Q Reeves' world right now. If the metaverse is going to allow me to have open lectures with fireplaces, you can you could come in with your fancy clothes. Y'all pulling up. Y'all pulling up. If I'm able to have vert, if I'm able to have virtual le- lectures right now, y'all coming into my world. So I want you all to understand it's going down. It's happening. It's just a matter of time. And they're going to be developing worlds. So my suggestion, start getting right with your inner world. Start realizing uh, the world that's around you is a representation of your inner world. And if you start working on your inner world, the world around you will change. That's one. That's one. That's one little tidbit that could be helpful. Another thing would be Decide if you want to develop a world out here. Now, you may be like, how am I supposed to develop a world out here? What's happening within the algorithm right now is that they don't care how big you are, how many followers you have, how many followers you are, you have. How much ass you have, how much titties you have. That's not the focal point of the algorithm right now. The focal point of the algorithm is consistency. Drop content. Drop content. Consistency. Like every day, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, drop something. Because what you're doing is you're doing... You're like... You're like a world right now that's completely blocked off it's dark the atmosphere is complete it does not look conducive to life don't forget to hit the like button family uh yes can i have a medium hot coffee um pumpkin spice with four creams and two sugars. Okay, medium hot coffee, pumpkin, two sugars, four creams. Yes. Okay, can I get you anything else? Um, that's it. Okay, for me, 73, close the window. All right, appreciate it. Man, thank you so much for your super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, and Dia, I think that's what I see. In India. Is it India? Indeed. Thank you. So, you are like, and I want you to understand, this This has to do with connecting to the, see, you're not here because I just connect with the outside of you. You're here because I connected to the inside of you, which then is affecting the outside of you. You click subscribe, you grab the phone when I go live, you then are now being influenced from what I've connected inside, hopefully that's empathy, that's compassion. Hopefully these are the things that I've connected with inside of you. Maybe a little pissed off energy sometimes. Hey, I get it. But my point is, many of you who claim that I can't be on social media. I, I'm i old, wrinkles, I'm this, that, and the third. Listen, there are thousands of you. Thousands of you waiting to find you. Whether you think you're too old old, overweight, too young, not able to speak. There's people that will sit there and just look at the camera, just like you. There's thousands of you. Thousands of you. There's thousands of you. There are thousands of you, but they can't find your world. Because you refuse to show yourself. So your atmosphere is too thick. So we definitely can't. Where are we supposed to land? I don't even know how to get through that. Okay. All right. So if I go live a few times, it's like symbolic of me clearing up my atmosphere. It is. It is. But under there, it's like deserted. It's like deserted. It looks like Mars. So you may have some dead people. So meaning that it may be two, three people watching. It's dead. It's okay. It's a desert. At least you're not alone. (laughs) 
At least you're not alone in the desert. There's two people. There's three people. You're not alone in the desert. And then eventually, y'all figure out, oh, wait, hold on. I may have some seeds in my pocket. Let me throw these seeds around. Oh, wait. Do you remember the atmosphere? You know, engagement starts to bring a ruckus and commotion and maybe some rain and some sprinkles and the atmosphere start looking better. And before you know it, you just consistently do this for a year, 10,000 hours to be exact. You will be so happy and satisfied with yourself. Because I hear y'all when y'all like, you know, I don't want to be on social media. I guess it's like saying you don't want a world right now. Because they're literally creating it within the next 10 years where you're going to have worlds. So, like, uh, your living room is a world. You invited people to your living room. What would be the difference in inviting them into a mental space? You still get to engage. It's not like they're allowing the whole living room thing to go down in the same capacity. And I refuse not to engage with the people I appreciate and care about. Build y'all some worlds. Be consistent. Good morning. Good morning. Appreciate it. Y'all go thank me in the long run. I don't want y'all to get left out because y'all were stubborn talking about I can't go live or yes, you can. I don't look this. I don't do that. I don't. There are thousands of y'all out here. There are thousands of me's. There's thousands of you's. I was able to connect to almost 10,000 of me. I would have never imagined. I was in a hot ass car trying to distract myself from the heat. <laughs> so I was like, I got to talk. That's how I got here. No problem, fam. No problem. I know it's important, this content stuff. I got to tell myself to make content. That's another reason why I created the satanic frequency. I mean, satanic forces video so that I can have consistent content. Nah, some, I, I connect with y'all. Y'all need to post. Then it's just, it's just a, it's just a clouded world. It's going to get better. Cloudy days don't last forever. Cloudy days don't last forever. But it's when but it's when you are willing to dedicate all your time and effort for other people's worlds, other people's social medias, other people's shit, and you don't have anything for yourself. I don't like that. I don't. I don't support that. Don't come to my channel. Because I don't want you to support me and not have some type of support for yourself. And y'all need to drop your channels. Drop your channels. Send them to me so I can post them on my page. Check this out. I'm not opposed to any of that. I'm not opposed to any of that. Each one, each, each one, each one teach one. Oh man, that's crazy, Jack. <laughs> Said they had a dream about me. And then boom, I'm on this live. I just. I want you to be prepared for all possibilities. Thank you, Drewski, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You tapped in, bro. Keep doing your thing. Thank you. I want y'all to be open to all possibilities. I want you to realize that in the movie Casper, 1995, they showed a really, really important scene. When Casper wanted to influence the outcome of who was moving into the house, he jumped through the TV and then went through the phone lines. Now, in this movie, when I saw this, I said, holy shoot, 
I said, this is showing you that these that these ancestors, let's just call them ancestors, that these ancestors have the ability to communicate to us through our devices and through electronic devices or electricity. So I was like, okay, well, well, I then have to always leave that line open. I have to always kind of make sure I don't close that phone line because that may be the only modality my ancestors have on their side of reaching me or connecting to me. This is why there's some people that have weird phone calls. What the hell? Who was that? If I had that, people called me and, and they try to call the phone back. It is, it's not like a breathing. It's like something speaks, but it's really faint. It's really, it's really cryptic. That would be the word. There are people who've had one-on-one -on -one sessions with me explaining some of the cryptic things that they've had in their life. And them phone calls was very interesting. Um, when there was pagers and, and messages and stuff like that, that weird stuff used to go through. Now, I feel like uh, uh, they figured out a way of adding some type of malware. Because I also believe that what we believe to be a virus, whether it be in the body or on a phone, is also ancestral intervention. So just like how you create malware to disrupt a virus, you can create a malware to disrupt ghosts from engaging or connecting with us. I also believe that this is why they use what some will refer to as harp. So they project certain frequencies in the air. So it's not possible for us to see or talk to these angel or, or or ancestor or alien like entities in the same capacity that we used to <clears throat> this is why everyone has predicted this blackout because it's basically like our ancestors our anunnaki's our a animals our aliens i mean whatever term you want to use is trying to reach us trying to connect to us but there is something on this planet that is shielding us or preventing us from truly getting the full download so we get it in pieces so it's like i to go with me down you go to need you and it's like ah we're down here like what are you saying to us i don't understand like we're losing it we're fucking losing it and and, and, and i had to realize it's not me all right god damn it it's not me it's it's they they help me understand it's like I, it's like all right so here's here's the saying i need you to go to papa john's and get me a pizza that's the saying okay I need you to go to Papa John's and get me a pizza. This is how it comes out. I, John's Pizza. Who is John's Pizza? Who is John's Pizza? I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I don't. I, who is John? Help me. So I had to go back in. <sighs> Breathe a couple times reset the matrix <laughs> and realize okay all right all right <laughs> it's not me bro and it's not y'all it's just something playing tennis with the words right now swiss cheese in these words bow bow like serena is out here venus is out here swiper no swiping these downloads and messages i mean i mean listen I feel like the download comes and then it Dikembe Mutombo to no, 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 no. The download's coming like water is splashing. Get that shit out of here. No downloads from my people. I'm just saying, don't feel bad. It happens to the best of us. Sometimes it's clear. It's clear on some days than others. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe they had like a little electric strike and, and heart went down for like 24 minutes. And, you know, 
Cause, cause I, I, I see it now. I see it now. You ready? You ready? Ready? Hold on. I get my downloads clear. Fuck you, mean. My shit is crystal. I hear what they saying. Maybe hardware down for like 24 minutes. You just, you just got an alignment, bro. <laughs> You just you just got lucky with the with the with the timing, you know. That demon on your back who built heart, you know, trying trying you know stay in control. <laughs> All right, so if you go be a devil, be a devil in your own motherfucking world. Start developing your own stuff. Start developing a balance between judgment and justice. JJ, everybody don't got to just eat a Jimmy John's, all right? Jim, you got it? Balance a world between justice and judgment. If you're going to judge someone, you also need to be able to provide a same level of uplifting. Oh, you don't have a car? Well, damn, I remember when I didn't have a car neither. It took me 10 years to get myself situated. I'm just so happy and, 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 and appreciative that I was able to figure out this job and boom, 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 boom. Girl, what you doing for like work? You need some help? You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying be fake. I'm not saying you ain't go fucking be you and judge people. Oh, you ain't got a car? But add some damn justice to it. You evil motherfuckers. I'm just saying. It's a very simple equation. This is all we're dealing with in life. Such a strong judgment with not enough justice. But you a five-finger justice individual. Now, some of you with six fingers, Brooklyn, I'm just saying, hey, you may have every right to start adding that judgment, you know? You might have every right to put yourself in that position of judgment. But most of y'all are some five-finger motherfuckers. So start being justice people, all right? You're supposed to be the superhero in this. You're supposed to be the superhero. You ain't supposed to be the villain. Justice, okay? It's supposed to be poetic. Why you let Tupac get to you? Why you let the death row get to you? Justice is supposed to be poetic. Y'all don't get these codes. I do. I do. You ain't gonna trick me. You ain't gonna trick me. I cracked the codes. All right, so the last little gym. <clears throat> is Lucifer. Now, thank you, Nadia, Nadia, for your, your cash app. And thank you, Michael, for your cash app. So, so, so appreciate it. All right, here we go. Y'all ready for this? So, the last one is Lucifer. <clears throat> so, what would Lucifer be associated to? They often say Lucifer was an angel in heaven. 
leader of the army or choir my bad leader of the choir of God well <clears throat> what they won't tell you is that planets all ring every planet has a nice little jazz of ringy dingy to it and that depending on which celestial body burns the brightest it kind of then becomes like the leader or in charge now some theorize that the sun doesn't exist and that we're really just dealing with the luminescence of different planets some say the sun does exist i have no spaceship to get my ass up into off this planet and tell you if the sun exists or not so i'm not about to tell you the sun exists or it doesn't but i would tell you is that uh both could probably hold some level of truth um i can see why both is argued or or said um but nevertheless it's about a celestial body something above us that shines bright and that's often the leader of then the other celestial bodies around it and those then ring so we're talking about heavens when we're talking about lucifer well <clears throat> many would say that our known elements came from the heavens meteor crashes um uh, planet crashing into another planet various scientists speculate a speculate a majority of our known elements are basically of course they come from space gases there are things that come from the heavens just 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 understand that okay they kind of thank you brooklyn they're levels to heaven this is what they would say the periodic table represents because most of these elements is what's needed in spacecraft most of these elements is what's needed in uh advanced aerodynamics is what's needed in uh computers um it's needed as supplements to people's mental states um etc 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 so this is what i want you to know in association to lucifer a very coded thing that many do not talk on <clears throat> the term lucifer actually has two different elements placed inside of the name the first element is lu and go let a Let's let's have her say it one more time. Lutetium. One more time. Lutetium. Okay. And let's let's learn a little bit about lutetium. Lutetium is a chemical element with the symbol Lu and atomic number seventy one. It is a silvery white metal which resists corrosion in dry air but not in moist air. Lutetium is the last element in the lanthanide series, and it is traditionally counted among the rare earths. Okay. Now. A silvery white, hard, dense metal. Lutetium is little used outside research, one of its few commercial uses is as a catalyst for cracking hydrocarbons in oil refineries. Mm. Lutetium has no known biological role. They don't even know what to do with it yet on a biological level. Lutetium-177 is currently the most commonly used radio metal for targeted radionuclide therapy due to its commercial availability and the clinical success of 177 lu based peptide receptor radionuclide therapy PR, RT for the treatment of neuroendocrine tumors and prostate cancer. <laughs> it's a treatment that they use for prostate cancer and brain cancers. <clears throat> so this thing known as Lou is associated to radios. This is what we read earlier. It's used to 
break down hydrocarbons and it's used in uh, the removing of brain tumors and prostate cancer that's the current uses of this element loot this silver white metal with an atomic number of 71 the other element that's inside the name Lucifer's feet and this one's a little more uh, familiar to most Phi in the atomic table is known as iron iron and iron iron is a chemical element with symbol Phi and atomic number 26 it is a metal that belongs to the first transition series and group 8 of the periodic table. It eight is, again. by mass, the most common element on Earth, right in front of oxygen, forming much of Earth's outer and inner core. So when you say Lucifer fell to Earth, could you be saying Lou and iron fell to Earth? Iron is a chemical element with symbol Fe and atomic number 26. It is a metal that belongs to the first transition series and group 8 of the periodic table. It is, by mass, the most common element on Earth, right in front of oxygen, forming much of Earth's outer and inner core. like iron and oxygen <laughs> now there's another element and of course we have smart people now what blows my mind it's silicone, CI. <clears throat> now, if y'all want me to go through that, I will. But I think we should get to the to the more interesting aspect. All right. So, CI on the periodic table is atomic number seventeen. So this is eight, eight, and eight. The name Lucifer is code for eight, eight, eight. Now, many of you will be like, wait, I thought it was 666. <laughs> so, let's see what the Bible says about 888. Okay. The meaning of numbers The number 888 The profound Bible meaning of the number 888 Is directly linked to the manifestation of God In the flesh To save mankind from its sins Now if I'm not mistaken The only manifestation of God in the flesh To save mankind from his sins was Jesus So how is it that we're within the word Lucifer that fell? Now, you also have the ritual where Jesus Christ was stabbed to death with iron. Stabbed, that's what killed him, the iron blow. Surprisingly, other 888-related Bible names used for Jesus also have a factor of 8 within them, which we add the numeratic equ equivalents of the Greek letters. This includes Christ, Lord, Messiah, all these used in the 8 frequencies. Christ, Lord, and Messiah. In Babylon, it's the number of the wise man. 
It's also connected to King Nebuchadnezzar. Very interesting. And then, like Michael just brought out, you have 72 fallen angels, which is also associated to the number eight. And this is what I just want you to simply understand. I don't even think I got a... Okay. We got a pen in here. So, I want you to, understand something very, very simple. Now, a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about has to do with dimension jumping. And that there are certain dimensions that these entities try to access what they can. So, you have the number three. You have the number six. This is the diagram, okay? And these are what you call high, low. Like, like the hair. It's what you call a high, low, okay? And it goes like this. Okay, now there are beings that dwell on this plane so we are right directly connected to the first dimension and the fifth dimension this is a five For those of you who may not be able to see it but we're literally smacked right in the middle between these two places so I want you to think of the first world. This is the world of elements, fire, earth, air, water. And this is why we have the ability to be right next to this elements when we're born, fire, earth, air, water. Now, once you get into a fifth dimension, this is then when you get into a dimension of like, Okay, so you have a, a calendar that is marked on your body that <clears throat> lets you know how long you're supposed to live. But there's ways of beating this calendar. One, going into deep meditative state can allow you to exceed your calendar. So say you're supposed to, your body's supposed to handle 120 years. Say that you've been aware 
of that, of that death mark, and that you have been now preparing to beat your death mark. It's trying to bring you to your four. This is where where it's trying to take you. Trying to bring you down to death to four. All right, and you're trying to avoid one's mark that has been placed on you. There's a date for your death. So there's ways of beating this date of death. One, eating better. One, meditating. Also, technology. <laughs> this is the greatest one that many people have used time after time. Because through technology, you can simply leave this planet. If you go to this planet and you settle on Mars, you actually live longer than you would on Earth. That's just simple. Just just that simple change right there can make you what some would consider a fifth dimensional being. Because the concept of being a fifth dimensional being is being able to beat one's death. So this is why you have people who fake their death. This is why you have a lot of like fake death people. A lot of these fake deaf people have evolved themselves to a certain status that will be perceived as fifth dimensional. But it gets slippery here. That's why many fall into the six. It's this fifth dimensional shit, boy. This shit gets slippery. You know how slippery it gets. Drake told y'all it's sli slipping to the slope. Because once you fall into the six, only few know how to get out. As soon as you get into the six, only a few know how to get out. And the code or secret of the six is this. They cannot. They cannot. Get into these higher realms. So imagine like, okay, this is our plane. This is how we are supposed to transverse reality. And it, you're right, sticky, meaning being stuck. Meaning though, implying those that are stuck in the six. My bad with the Drake shit. But this is our plane. This is our path. From an element. From an element. To a illuminated element that has solidified itself into an identity this element then evolves to a being that can control its element so this is why you consider some of these people with powers because because they know How to control the element the fifth element how to control the element but then you get lost with having this power and they get stuck they fall they slip and then they get stuck it's sticky in the six they can't go to the seven they can't go to the seventh heaven they would love to go to the seventh heaven, but they can't get to the seventh heaven. So if I can't get to the seven, then how do I get here? If this is their path, because you got some that start in the two. You got some that start in the three and get pulled down to the four. And from the four become the six, become the six, they figure out the eight. But how do they get to the eight? Our world, their world. Our world, their world. How do we make, how do they make our world their world? Because keep in mind, our world is high. Our world is up. So how do they combine our world with their world?
We have a three. I'm going to watch this. Now, you you would think three plus six, you get nine. But you also can have three plus six and give you eight. So you have individuals... That are being hijacked. Thinking that they are in a higher frequency when they're here. And what does this mean? Alright, so I try to do this the best way I could depict it, but it's more of a cube than you imagine. So they place, let me just, just help y'all understand these points. Three. They figured out a way of locking three, four, five, and six in the same square, in the same loop. And then they stacked a multiverse of all three of these realities on top of each other, all four of these realities on top of each other. So let me just help you understand what this means. All right. So you have humans, three humans, four ghost. Five superhumans or metahumans, super beings. Six evil super beings. And we are all entangled into a plane of existence that's intermingling with each other. The dead are literally right next to the ghost. You just, some of us don't get to see them. These metahumans are right here with us. We're in what we can consider a fifth, sixth dimensional reality. And these are just technologies that they're playing with that we don't even get access to. Now. So as you know, this cube has six sides. So what are they doing to hack into an eight frequency?
So there's something you would call duality, like hot and cold, up and down. So these are about layering dimensions on us. So you've layered the dimension of humanity, being human. You've layered the dimension of ghost. You've layered the idea and seeded into the consciousness of us like crazy, the, the ideology of metahumans. But we also have books that talked about metahumans, giants, uh, scaled beings. And then you had the protect, that which was opposite of them. That, see, this is not, this is not to be, be racist or nothing like that. Please stay with me. You have black people, you have white people. White people would be the same complexion as some would say ghost. So white people would be considered fourth dimensional beings. Black people, third dimensional beings. Are all black people equal? No, third dimensional beings have inner, inner, inner interacted with this fourth dimensional species and it did not capture them. It did not devour them. Death did not consume them. They actually met death in the face and inter intermingled and actually evolved into something greater five and six but in order to create well how is that a ghost and how is that living well there has to be a contrast so this contrast is actually happening inside of you this contrast is happening through an energy surge inside of you some would say that energy surge would be perceived as kundalini sure i'll say it's fire and ice you call it kundalini if you want one represents fire, another represents ice. So they've chosen to use the elements of fire and water. Or just consider it fire and ice. They've placed fire and ice inside of our cube. So you have volcanoes, fire below us, and then you have ice caps above us. And they use fire and ice as extra dimensions placed on us to give us eight dimensions. And this duality of fire and ice is fueling this whole, <laughs> this whole layered multiverse. And, and, and as you see, we don't even get to access all three peaks. We're constantly only seeing the, the duality of a triad. When the reality it's fire, ice, water. <laughs> but we don't ever get to access the water. The water's below us. See? See how I did that? So it's like fire and ice. But we never get to access the water. The water that was above us, space, or the water that's below us right here on this planet. Still operating out of the frequency of fire and ice. This may be a little confusing, but I did my best. I did my best. But <clears throat> best way for you to kind of understand what I mean is uh, uh, fire and ice is, you know how they say the heart really knows all? Where like it's when you allow your mind to lie. When you allow your mind to kind of come in and interfere in what your heart has already acknowledged. So the concept of fire and ice is the concept of your mind and your heart. Where your heart will actually represent ice. Ice box where my heart used to be. My ice box where my heart used to be. Oh. <laughs> because... It's in, it's in, in, you can't access it. Impenetrable, that's not the right word. <laughs> uh, impenetrable, there we go. It's impenetrable. It don't matter if you're a titan. This glacier will 
rock you down. This heart will break you down. It's being solid. It's not negative. Fuck you, Omarion. It has nothing to do with being negative. It's to show the concept that you can that 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 not anything could just access your heart. That it's possible to access my mind. It's more open. It's susceptible to frequencies. It's more open. But my heart is solid. It's ice cold. Not like I'm not willing to embrace you. No, it's solid. It's ice cold. While my fire be flaring, my mind be flaring, my thoughts be flaring. This is a battle of fire and ice. Hopefully it made sense. Hopefully y'all, you know, y'all got the video. Like I said, so don't forget to hit the like button. Thank y'all so much for y'all time. Check out that Satanic Forces and Hollywood video. Uh, part two will be dropping next week. It's all fire. I'm telling you, it's some, some crazy stuff in that series. So thank y'all for, for participating. Uh, if you came in in the middle of the video or towards the end, you might want to go back because, you know, I'll be dropping gems the whole way through. So, <laughs> till next.